Hello everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in to another video from Edward Cunningham. Uh, again, the book is Reciprocity. For those of you who have not purchased the book, it's as easy as going to Amazon.com, type in the word Reciprocity, the book comes up on the first page, make your payment, and it'll be at your doorstep in about 48 hours. Um, I recently did a podcast about three weeks ago with a uh, guy down in Texas, and uh, a young lady had called in the show, and she said, Edward, um, what do you think um, the number one complaint that married men have? And no, I haven't done a national study, but I've been a, I've been a man for a while. And so through, you know, men don't talk about relationships at the level that women do, but when we do, I would say, again, overwhelmingly, that men, number one complaint is that they feel that when they got married, um, they feel like they have been sexually bamboozled. So in other words, you, you sold him an image. And if, you, if you've heard any of my previous videos, I always talk about that men marry women hoping that they will never change. Women marry men hoping that they will. Men make a decision, they make decisions off of a Polaroid camera. They make a snapshot of your, of your look. They make a snapshot of your body. They make a snapshot of how you make them feel. They make a snapshot of your level of education. They make a snapshot of your level of intelligence. They make a snapshot on how you treat others. They make a snapshot on whether or not you're a good nurturer. They make a snapshot on do you give them autonomy to still be a man and not feel emasculated. But, but, but in that particular portrait, what often goes wrong is that the women edit, take an editing software and the part of that Polaroid picture is that a lot of times and this is not all women, so I'm not going to make this generalized indictment against all women, but the number is significant. That that same freakiness that you used to get him, you have put it on the shelf. Because a man has a thirst, in my opinion, to have sex about three times a week. And I would say at least once a month that the average woman has to understand that in order to keep novelty in your relationship, a man has a desire to at least go back to the level in terms of um, that level of freakiness that you had. And there's nothing wrong with that. Fight for your relationship. And, I, and, and in addition to that, I don't want you to, from now on, after this video, I don't ever want you to look at your bedroom as just a place to sleep. I want you to look at your bedroom like 50 shades of gray. And no, I'm not suggesting that you should be putting on lingerie every night, but once a month, you need to let your man know that you still got it because if you don't, there's always somebody out there willing to do it. And I'm not suggesting a man is, um, is this is going to lead to promiscuity or adulterous activity, but I'm saying that it opens it up. It puts the person in a very precarious position. And I am not justifying any man's adulterous activity, but I can tell you that the, the desire to have that novelty in a relationship is very, very important. Now, here's the other thing which I don't think a lot of women um, really, really understand. And that's the fact that if you don't want yourself to be perceived as a sex object, then stop packaging yourself. Stop packaging yourself as being a sex object. See, this is what the, the average woman does is that, oh, I, I have a wonderful man. He treated me so well this week. I'm going to give him some. And so just think about this, this term, because I, I get frustrated myself. I, you hear so many women tell me, I'm going to give him some. And so most men say, hold on, what the hell? I thought, why do you have to feel like, why do I have to feel like you're giving me a bone like a dog wouldn't got a Frisbee? Give him some. Why don't you try to change up your lingo? Why don't you try to say, um, honey, um, I appreciate you so much. Um, um, I want to make love to you tonight. You see the dynamics, because when you say that I want to give you some, gives the impression that you given that this has become a task and you're rewarding him for doing a task. When you say, when you tell a man that I want to make love to you, then the energy reciprocates and you have to understand that it does make a difference. It makes a man want, makes a man feel like you want him just as much as he wants you. A married man shouldn't have to fight. A man, a married man shouldn't have to feel like he's a rapist in his own bedroom. It is your responsibility because this is what you sold him. And I realize there are other elements involved, but remember the book is reciprocity. Meaning that it is not your responsibility to make your decisions based on what he's doing for you. The bottom line is that if that's what you sold him, then be consistent. Be consistent. And that's the number one complaint that I wanted to um, let you guys know. 
Um, as I said before, um, relationships don't end because of the lack of love. They end because of lack of intimacy. I want to thank you again for watching uh, this video. Uh, the book is uh, Reciprocity. The website is authoredwardcunningham.com. And a lot of uh, my social media um, links are on the website up here easier. And you can also see some of my other previous blogs. Um, thank you and uh, enjoy your holiday. And um, I will see you next week.